Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you later in the morning. And I'm still here. Back in the hot tub. I got out here with my cane. I'm not being stupid. I took all my pills, including my opiates. It's very difficult to get it back down to pain level. You know, and I'm not a person that, like, I don't sit in bed. I have an adjustable mattress, you know, that goes up and down and stuff. But I don't like staying in bed. I feel like an invalid. But I got to tell you, sitting in the chair is not doing it. Sitting in my recliner is not doing it. I have to figure it out. And I like going with my family and stuff. So I'm going to have to limit a lot of my favorite activities, personal stuff, so I can have my favorite activities family stuff because you can't really do both you've got to trade it off I'm, I'm figuring this out the trade off for saving sugar was I should have shut down completely and I did maybe it wouldn't have been this bad if I shut down completely right after you know so your body measurement measurement of what you can take doesn't seem to happen while it's happening, if that makes any sense. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying, though you were in chronic pain. You can think, I'm going to go do this now and go do it, and you don't feel the pain, literally, until you get back. I call that the distraction effect. And what the distraction effect simply means is that when you're with people or doing something that you enjoy or occupied otherwise, you won't think about the pain. That's why I have this 300 milligram edible in my hands before I eat my before I eat any other food right now. I'm going to be taking that. I'm actually going to drink it with you. And I guess that's chasing after you've done the fact. That's like unfortunately shooting yourself in a foot while you're cleaning your gun and and saying, "Oh, I got to get that bullet back in the, into the barrel." It don't go. So, what you got to do, what I've got to learn to do, is take stock of my capabilities before I start doing things. It almost maybe have to be on a daily basis, because this is a moving target. And I think you'd all agree that it truly is a moving target, the pain. You can't plan it. You know what I'm saying? Sorry about putting this down for a second. You can't plan the pain the pain comes but you can understand the activities you do and what type of pain it causes you can almost that's what the spoon theory is you can almost write yourself a list taking a shower getting up to go to the bathroom going to the kitchen going down to the mailbox going out back to the hot tub walking sugar going to lunch with a friend going to a doctor's office, going out to dinner with Mrs. Stoner, meeting her for lunch, going to see my son and his fiance, going to see my daughter and her fiance, going out to dinner with them. These are the things that I do in the given periods of time, and I don't calculate like I should, and I'm a smart enough guy, what they're going to do to me. For example, let's just walk through on this example. Because of the emergency situation of carrying sugar back, later in the morning on Monday I should have gone nowhere the rest of that day nowhere yesterday I didn't I did my doctors I did my normal routine and it caught up with me at the end of each day much worse than it even started in the morning which was approved so it's going to happen again today the same way unless I listen to what I'm telling you and try to make sense with myself that if I do these things I will pay the penalty physical penalty so it's almost math it's almost math you have a hundred okay marbles that's how many marbles you have and you know when you're done with those marbles you're in trouble so call it 20 marbles to get to a doctor's office, 20 marbles to go out to lunch, 20 marbles to do all your bathroom things, 20 marbles to do all of your inside house things. What do you got left? Do you have the 20 marbles to walk the dog? I guess what I'm saying is 
you really got to look at it like mathematics. And it's simple math. It's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. It's not complicated math with fractions or anything. I'm not good at that. This is simple math where it says to you, here's how much you can do. It's a fact. Pick out the things you want to do. Don't do the things you can't do. And maybe look at it even worse. Pick out the things you need to do. And don't do the things you want to do right now. What do you think about that one? Need versus want. Need versus want. That's what this is going to be about. You need to do certain things. You want to do others. You've got to categorize them and prioritize them so you don't end up like me. This is the real senior stoner. Cheers.